Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Um, let me start off by saying that I was very curious to see if Melodyne works, works with GarageBand, and I YouTubed it, and I couldn't find anything that uh, verified that it did. And I even Googled it, and I couldn't find anything that verified that it did. So if all you have right now for recording software is GarageBand, and you do want to get Melodyne to make your voice sound better, just to correct shit, um, I want to say that it does work, and I'm going to show you how right now. So... Let's open up GarageBand. Well, the cool thing is whenever you upgrade to, let's say you get Melodyne, whenever you upgrade to something else, like Logic or Pro Tools, you could use that same plugin for that, for Pro Tools or Logic and stuff. So you don't have to rebuy it or anything. So let me make it quick. So what we're going to do is I don't have any tracks here, so I'm just going to make a vocal track. Blah. And then... We're, we're done with making that vocal track. So obviously you're going to have, Melodyne is usually the last thing you're going to do on your song um, just to fix the vocals and just correct shit. So you're going to have a bunch of tracks on here. Make sure that the track that you want to Melodyne is, is highlighted because otherwise it's not going to pop up on Melodyne. So let's double click that. Oops, it's already clicked. So if it's not showing here, just double click it for, for those of you who don't see the, the side because sometimes... I was confused, like, where the fuck is that? that that thing that I can click at? I don't know where it's at. So just always double-click it if you want to go to the editing thing. So go to the tab that says Edit, and on the bottom where it says Click Here to Add an Effect, click that, and way on the bottom, you should see Melodyne Editor. So click that. It's going to pop up on here. Once it's on there, what you're going to do is double-click, and you're going to see the plugin pop up working with GarageBand. So it does work with GarageBand because like I said, I couldn't find anything showing it did. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your cursor is behind whatever you wanna edit on Melodyne. So you can't start here and expect to edit the back portion because it's not gonna show on Melodyne. So make sure you start off when you wanna edit whatever you're gonna edit, like I said. Um, so at that point, you're gonna, hit you're gonna click Transfer on the Melodyne tab and then you're gonna play your project by pressing spacebar nah. and then you're gonna stop by pressing spacebar again and then it's gonna show you the, all this stuff here which I'm not gonna get in depth with um, I'll probably make a video in, in the future showing you how to do it but yeah there you go so just to show you guys that it does work with GarageBand and once you do your edits what you need to do so let's say nah. you wanna change that to like let's double click and play it <laughs> just to show that it works once you're done doing whatever you're gonna do um, as far as editing all you have to do is just click out of it once you click out of it go back and play it on your track and it should be on your track already all edited and stuff Blah! there you go and once you're done with that then you know what to do as far as share and then export song and all that stuff so yeah that's how you do it so you could use Melodyne with GarageBand so um Hope this uh, video helped you guys who were curious like I was. So, see you guys later.